Hello, today I retire all the video is a first giant step to master in inside bar a technical trading a techniques. First giant step to master in inside bar technical trading a techniques. So this is the first time that I'm recording a video about the inside bar. The inside bar is a specific a candlestick pattern. We have a bullish inside bar and a bearish inside bar. In this tutorial, I will be focusing on the bullish inside bar and the variation of the inside bar. So, when we are talking about a candlestick pattern, all right, we need to understand that uh, when it comes to the uh, inside bar, uh, technical trading uh, techniques, uh, traders uh, do not use uh, the same uh, techniques when it comes to the inside bar. So first and first, what is the inside bar? Is when you have, for instance, a bullish candlestick bar like this. All right? And the second candlestick bar is bearish. And that bearish second candlestick bar uh, stays within the range of the first long bullish candlestick bar. So this is one example here. You have a, a long bullish candlestick bar. You can see that the next candlestick bar is bearish, but it stays within the range of that long candlestick bar. One. Here again, you have a long bullish candlestick bar. The next candlestick bar is bullish, and it stays within the range of uh, that uh, first uh, bullish candlestick bar. So talking about the range, we are talking about from the high to the low of uh, that uh, okay first uh, bullish candlestick bar. So one will consider this this bar here, this bearish candlestick bar, as the inside bar. Why the name inside? Because it's inside the range of that bullish candlestick bar. On the other hand, a bearish inside bar will be when we have a long bearish candlestick bar and the next candlestick bar is bullish and it stays within the boundary of the first okay, a bearish candlestick bar. Are you with me? So if we had, repeat, this as a, a bullish candlestick bar, and that bullish candlestick bar is within the range of that long bearish candlestick bar that will form okay, a bearish okay, inside bar. But that is a warning I want to give trade up, though I'm using the word bullish and bearish. Uh, as we continue this discussion, you will say that you will think that Joe, why were you saying bullish? Why were you saying bearish? All right, but when it comes to the inside bar. Similarly to the triangle, the inside bar is similar to the triangle. So whenever you see any inside bar, though I'm using the word bullish and bearish, any time you see any inside bar with a bullish or bearish, just consider it as anything is possible. It's similar to the triangle pattern. So any bullish pattern after the inside bar, any bullish chart pattern or bullish signal above okay, the inside bar is a high probability trading setup, like we have the same scenario for the triangle. Any bearish okay, chart pattern, bearish signal below okay, the inside bar is a high probability bearish okay, uh, trading signal. But talking about, uh, okay, the inside bar technical trading techniques, as I was telling you earlier, not all traders use the same technique. One of the techniques that the traders will use is that like this, you have a bullish candlestick kind of bar followed by, okay, the second one that is bearish, staying within the range of the first one. So this is the inside bar here. So what most traders will do, they will highlight the high, of that inside bar, this is the inside bar, and it will highlight the low of the inside bar. So they will be looking for bullish trading setup, giving priority to bullish trading setup above okay, the high of the inside bar. So in this zone, above the high of the inside bar, and they will be giving priority to bear signal 
below the low of the inside bar. This is one technique that traders often use. So you also notice that uh, for traders that are trading for eyes, especially on a daily chart, all right? So the day before, you have a long bullish candlestick bar, and then the following day is a consolidation. Or sometimes you will see it, or for instance, uh, uh, you will notice that uh, Thursday you may have, okay, a long candlestick bar, all right? bullish candlestick bar and then on Thursday then on Friday the following day which is Friday we have a consolidation the market did not go anywhere it was just oscillating forming a tiny candlestick bar that a tiny candlestick bar constitutes okay an inside bar because on Thursday we have a long candlestick bar which is bullish on Friday we have okay a low volatility we have a consolidation then we have at the end of the day an inside bar and then on Monday trader will draw a line at the high of the inside bar and a line at the low of the inside bar giving priority to bullish signal above the high and priority to bear signal below it. Sometimes trader will apply the same strategy for instance on the 4 hour time frame when they have a long candlestick bar bullish and the following 4 hour candlestick bar is a tiny one. Alright so you may notice, for instance, uh, that uh, or uh, the, the the New York session is a long candlestick bar for the forest market, all right. And then the Asia session, you have uh, the inside bar, and then London is open. So they will apply this, this technique to trade the inside bar, all right. So this is one technique to trade the inside bar. Sometimes. It's better to highlight not only the high and the low. One can also highlight the media line of the inside bar. The reason is, as the price are going up, it will not go up straight away from the high of the inside bar, but it will pull back or go up to the media line where it will find support before start riding it up. So one can look for an opportunity to buy above the, mid, the high of the mid side bar or if the price pull back to retest the media line and we have a bullish signal or a bullish chart pattern a valid support is confirmed near the media line or at the high those are the places where we can buy when we are trading the inside bar so you may say george i already know all this and i do not want to watch the full length of this tutorial and i will say to you it's a big mistake all right it's a big mistake so this is one variation of the inside bar. So in theory, if you look on the web, that's what a lot of traders will tell you. But we have another type of inside bar that can become a little bit complex. And trader very often will miss that completely. Instead of having one inside bar, one may have a two inside bar. So this one example here, you see here, we have the long, bear, the long bullish candlestick bar. Now we have two tiny, okay, inside bar. Now, what I want you to understand is that when I was drawing my things here, the inside bar, it did not have a tail. I was just making it like a, a plain candlestick bar forming the inside bar. There is another technique that traders use uh, when they are dealing with the inside bar. Sometimes you may see that the inside bar got a tail, but the low of uh, that uh, inside bar, talking about the range of the inside bar, from the high of the inside bar to the low, will still stay within the boundaries of the bullish candlestick bar like this, okay? So how do you handle that, all right? When the, the inside bar got a shadow and a tail, remember that one group of traders will only focus on the body of the inside bar. So like here, you see this candlestick bar is an inside bar, but it got a tail. One group of traders will ignore the tail of the candlestick, the, that inside bar, and they will only draw the line from the top of the body of the inside bar to the low of the body of the inside bar. Right, you understand? Instead of drawing it from the high, so, so another group will place the line at the high of that inside bar and at the low. Right. 
Another group also may also consider the media line of that low inside bar. So they want to trade the high, the high, the low, and the media line. That's it works beautifully. But remember, that another group will ignore the media line. Will only hire the high and the low. There's another group of traders will only highlight the body of the inside bar. They will ignore the tail of the, the, the inside bar. So they will give priority to bullish signal above the body of that inside bar and priority to bearish signal below the low of the body of that inside bar. They will discount the tail. And another group may also consider the media line of the body of the inside bar. They will ignore the tail and they will just draw it like this. Uh, ignoring the tail and the shadow, only focusing on the body of the inside bar. What I will say to trader is that uh, that strategy of uh, focusing only on the body of the inside bar usually will work beautifully if you have more than one inside bar. Have I make sense? So here we have only one inside bar here. Sometimes we have two. This is the case here. You have one candlestick bar stay within the range of this candlestick bar. The second one also stay within the range of the same candlestick bar. The two candlestick bar are inside bar. So for those reasons, if both candlestick bar got a tail and a shadow like it is here, it's better to consider the, the, the body of those two candlestick bar. So <coughs> Whichever tendency bar got the the high, you highlight the high. This one got a high at the body. We highlight the high of the the body of one of the candle if it's the highest one. So this has got the highest body. We highlight the high of that body. And whichever tendency bar got the lowest body, talking about the low of the body of this tendency bar, this one got the lowest. So we highlight that. So instead of highlighting. A high and a low of this body alone, one will consider the low of this one because this one got the highest part of the body, and this one got the lowest part of the body. If we had three candlestick bar all confined within a range of this candlestick bar, we'll put it at the low of the body of the candlestick bar that got the lowest body. So here we got two, we put it here. That's all we will care about. And we can also consider. All right, <laughs> the media line of the body of uh, those two candlestick bar like this. That's another way. So why do we draw those lines? In fact, by drawing those lines, all we are trying to do is that <coughs> all we are saying that if we want to buy, we want to buy above the media line. So we can buy near the above the media line if there is a bullish trading setup or a bullish chart pattern, and we can also buy above the high of the inside bar. You may say inside range, if you are dealing with many inside bars, like this one here, so above the higher of those uh, body, or we can, and then we will sell below it. That's what we are saying. So we draw those lines to look for trading opportunity. We are looking for trading opportunity in the vicinity of one of those uh, lines. So, but what we have noticed is that a lot of uh, traders that are trading inside bar do not very often will miss excellent opportunity when we have multiple inside bar. So remember also that another group of traders may, even when they have a multiple inside bar, they will consider the tail and the shadow. So they will put it here at the lowest of uh, the, the, so this one, this can see bar got the lowest low. So they put it here and this one got the highest high, they put it there. So they will draw. Okay, the, the line at the top of uh, those uh, inside bar, another line at the low of uh, those uh, candlestick, those uh, inside bar, and we consider also the media line. All we do care about, you see, like here, uh, that uh, uh, that's what you will do here. So you highlight. So let's play with it. <coughs> So you can use a different color so so you when you change time frame uh, you can see them and know which one is which once you draw the media line you call the media line pink for instance all right here it is so you have those three lines so at that point in time okay this is happening so i put two vertical lines hopefully we'll see uh, that section on our chart I'm going to switch or pay attention to the two vertical line, and we're going to switch to the. I'm now on the yearly chart. Hopefully, we we'll see on the monthly chart. If not, we go to the quarterly chart, the vertical line. Those are the two vertical lines. So, all right. 
two. So it's highlighting that section. So all we do care about, we know that, uh, what is the long bullish candlestick? But I can't see here. Okay, let's go back again to our yearly chart. What is it? Okay, what I need to do is to put it here instead here. Somewhere here, okay? All right. So this is the long candlestick bar. So we draw those lines. So it's somewhere. Uh, let's see. What's December? That's a January 2001. Looks like it. So our vertical line should be somewhere here. All right. So you can see that as we draw all those lines, the trail line, the red, the pink, and the green. So all we are saying that if we have a bullish opportunity either near the media line, okay, near the media line, or above, okay, the red line, we will buy. Now if you have a bearish signal below the media line and also below the low of the range of those two inside bar, we will sell. That's all we are saying. So here you can see that uh, the price formed. After a while, so if it form a low first, so if we, this is a good one first, you see one, two, three. Advanced trader will see that. They say one, two, three. Minimum price was free near the pink one. All right. So you will give it a chance. And here it is. Use the top down trading method. It went up. All right. So now you find a resistance at the top. Now people start selling. It come back down. So when you are buying near the media line, it coming near the top. You secure your gain. You control the risk. Here it is. You see it change direction. In fact, it crashed down almost to the low. Is it true? Is it a distorted tendency bar here? Did it happen truly, truly? Well, okay, I was not there, okay? So, but one thing was clear is that you, if for trader were more conservative, all right, if you miss this one, one, two, three, we testing it, here it is a double bottom chart pattern near the media line. You will consider that. You can see that only in one month, one can see by pushing back to the top and those traders took profit very fast. So the inside bar is not uh, a magic formula. It is just telling us that there was a bullish progression, and the inside bar is forming what we call the pullback. So we higher at the high, and the low of that inside bar. But as I told you already, not all traders are using the same inside bar uh, technique, a trading technique. Some will higher at the high and the low, considering the high of a shadow and the low of the tail. Another group may consider only the body, the high of the body and the low of the body. Sometimes we have a, a complex inside bar, which means instead of having one inside bar, we have a multiple inside bar. Another group of traders will highlight the high of the highest candlestick, the highest uh, inside bar, and we highlight the low of uh, the lowest inside bar. Another group may consider only uh, the high of the body. Of one of those inside bar, and we highlight the low of the lowest body of one of those inside bar. It becomes a bit complex, as I show you already. And by all we do care about by doing those exercises, highlighting the higher, the low, and the media line, whichever way, considering the body or the full range of the candle of those candlestick bar. All we are doing is that we are saying we want to wait and see whether there will be a trading opportunity in near the media line or above the high, or below the media line, or below the low of, uh, okay, uh, the range of uh, the inside bar. So as you can see here, if you did that, you will wait patiently. As you can see here, there was this double bottom chart pattern followed by a higher low. So if you didn't see this one, it's a higher low above the media line. So you pull back. And here, in fact, there was another higher low here before that. So here, pull back from a higher low, you will take this one. Okay, again. Here it is. That's what we are talking about. You're looking for trading setup above the, uh, the media line. Here you see another higher low on the edge. So the inside bar is a pullback, all right? After a bullish candlestick uh, bar, the inside bar can be also a rally after a bearish candlestick bar. So a bearish candlestick bar is formed. Like here, this this is this is another example of an inside bar, but we have multiple inside bar. So here, what you will do is that you see this long candlestick bar. All right. Okay, hold on please. Instead of drawing another line, uh, I'll show you the minutes. Okay, stay with me please. Are you getting a message? So, 
understand because uh, what I have noticed is that uh, when we are talking about inside bar, you watch videos uh, on the web, you notice that everybody is saying the same thing like uh, 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 there's one formula to trade the inside bar. No, there's not one formula. There are many formulas. So here, that's the long candlestick bar. It's a bearish. Now you can see that all these four candlestick bars stay within the range of that uh, in that uh, long bearish candlestick bar. So all those uh, four candlestick bar are forming what we call the inside bars in plural. Here it is. But when the first one is formed, you think that that's the first one. So you can work with the first one first, and then the second one, and then the third one. So sometimes it's not straightforward. All right? So you see here, so after this one is formed, you see, so you are looking. So if it's a bearish candlestick bar, the inside bar, preferably, we will prefer it to be bullish. All right? That's what we will prefer. Normally, that's what we will prefer. If you see a bullish candlestick bar, we will prefer that the inside bar, okay, are bearish. All right? That's what we will prefer because we, have, we want a pullback. All right? So here, if we have a bearish long candlestick kind of bar, the inside bar, we will prefer them to be bullish. So those one here. So you can highlight it high from the top of the shadow to the low of those are bullish. So one, two, three. Those are the bullish ones because we want, we want the inside bar to be bullish when the long candlestick kind of bar is bearish. So here it is, the high and the low. Another group of traders will do something, then the media line somewhere there in the middle. So they will be looking for trading opportunity in that zone. And this one tried to rally up a bit to retest the median, but it didn't. Another group of traders using the inside bar technique, they will highlight only the highest part of the body, which is right there, and the lowest part of the body of that group of uh, those are three candlestick bar, which is here. And they will draw another line near the median line okay, of that range. So here, that rally was trying to retest the media line, considering the high of the body of one of those inside bar, and the lowest part of the body of one of those uh, can, uh, inside bar. So this is a complex inside bar. Instead of having one inside bar, we have a multiple candlestick bar forming the inside bar within the range. Sometime, my friend, what you will notice, talking about inside bar, <sighs> You may have, for instance, all right, a bearish candlestick bar, and the inside bar can be okay, an oscillation, which means the prime may form within a range of that inside bar a triangle. You see, that's why I was telling you that the inside bar consider it as a triangle, trade it like we trade triangle. Consider it as anything is possible. But understand also, like we talk about Fibonacci extension, how to draw their Fibonacci extension. Not all traders draw their Fibonacci extension the same way. Okay? So when we are talking about inside bar, not all traders are using the same inside bar technical trading techniques. So those are the way traders trade the inside bar. But sometimes you may see a long candlestick bar, but the inside bar will be a consolidation in a triangle. So in that case, the whole consolidation is considered as the inside bar. Can we say that? Can we say that? It's a kind of inside bar. But you will you see, again, the same strategy apply for the triangle. You draw the median line again. And you give priority above the top of the triangle. And you give priority to bullish signal above the top of the triangle. And also near the median line. And you give priority to bear signal below the median line. And priority to bear signal below the low of the triangle. Sometimes you may see a small rectangle, which means a no more consolidation, okay, in the range of uh, okay, a long candlestick bar, either bullish or bearish. So remember the triangle, remember the consolidations, the small consolidation that stays within the range of a long candlestick bar. As I mentioned before, very important, all right, if the the, the, the long candlestick bar is bearish, we will prefer, okay, talking about different strategies that we use, we will prefer the inside bar to be bullish. So you will give a precedence to the bullish inside bar if you see first a long bearish candlestick bar. Very, very important, all right? Don't discount. If you see long candlestick bar, candlestick bar that are forming the inside bar should be bullish if you have a bearish one. 
That's what are my recommendation today. If, for instance, here it is, you see, this one is a long candlestick bar. You see, one candlestick bar is a little bit bullish, but it's a shadow. Am I talking to myself? I'm somewhere here. But you will only consider the bearish inside bar if the long candlestick bar is bullish. That's my recommendation to traders. Well, I hope uh, I have managed uh, to explain, uh, okay, uh, the inside bar and the various uh, type of inside bar. Sometimes we have only one candlestick bar that is forming the inside bar, which is simple. Another time we may have a multiple inside bar, all right, which I already talked about, all right. And sometimes the inside bar may be just a triangle. So instead of having a bar, we have a triangle, a consolidation, a triangle, but that a triangle will stay within a range of one single long candlestick bar. Sometimes it may be just a normal horizontal consolidation, but that consolidation will stay within a range of one long candlestick bar. Talking about the inside bar, for those who want to swing train, use mostly okay the yearly chart if you want to swing trade looking for the best things about don't stack on a daily chart don't stack on a weekly chart don't limit yourself to the monthly chart be more adventurous go to the quarterly chart where the position traders are making excellent decisions and go to the all right yearly chart quarterly chart okay to look for the best uh, inside bar that to allow you okay to cream the market uh, consistently as always when we see the inside bar it means that anything is possible we are probably can brace the ball or below all right we draw those lines the high the low considering the high of the shadow or the low of the tail or we focus only on the body of the inside bar or the inside bars, all right? All we are looking for, we are looking for trading setup in the vicinity of one of those, okay, uh, uh, line, all right? So here again, you can see here, this was a bullish candlestick bar and three bearish candlestick bar. Ignore this one because it's a little bit bullish. Focus only on the, all right, bearish one. So here again, if I focus only on the body of those inside bar, I'll put my line like this. So that's the body, considering only the body and ignoring the shadow. That will be those lines. Just leave it them there. You see, if I brace the ball, the pink one, retest it here, but it has failed. So that all I'm looking for, trading setup in the vicinity of one of those, one of those okay, key levels. That's what I'm looking for. That's it. That's all. All right. Whether it's bearish or bullish, I'm just looking for trading setup near one of those key level. We know that bullish trading setup will occur above the media line. All right, if you buy near the media line, attention to the high. Try can change direction as it did here. Okay, prior to bullish signal above the high. All right, and so on and so on. All right, we can do a lot of things with the inside bar. All right, just remember that it means that anything is possible and understand the various uh, techniques that traders use and decide which one is suitable to you. You can try both to go into the mind of other traders. And in all cases, once you identify a trading setup, you will okay, use okay, a multiple time frame trading method to control the risk. I hope I have been useful to you in this tutorial. If that is the case, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that uh, this is another poor performance, let us know by marking it down, and that will help us to improve our next recording. All right? But if you think this is an essential tutorial that will help other uh, candlestick pattern traders to improve their trading, uh, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Uh, this will conclude our discussion today about a first a giant step uh, to mastering inside bar technical trading uh, techniques. If you have any question, put in a comment section in due course. I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific uh, question. We are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders. And until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. Speak to you as uh, soon.